Hi, I'm Vanessa and I'm a graduate of the Civil Engineering Technology Program here at Conestoga College. Yeah, my name is Nathan, I'm in Civil Engineering Technology at Conestoga College. I actually went to university for archaeological studies and I got to do surveying on site when I was doing a dig, which made me realize that I liked something that was a lot more hands-on. And so with the Civil Engineering Technology Program, you can really see all the different things that are out in your day-to-day -day life that we study, like roads, buildings, skyscrapers, subdivisions. So just having the hands-on, but also being able to see what I was working on, have it come to life. It's in your everyday life and you don't even realize it. When you're driving down a road, someone you know, calculated out the catch basins and how the, the water's gonna drain off the road. And then underneath the road, there's like a network that you wouldn't even imagine, all the piping that's there. And it gets more complex if you're in like a downtown core and you have to treat everything differently. So a lot of problem solving, which is really cool because you know, I work on projects and I'll maybe drive down a road and I did that. That was there because of me. The Civil Engineering Technology Program covers everything from road design, surveying and bringing it into AutoCAD and being able to make a city plan or subdivision plan to concrete or any structural elements to make sure that a building would be up to code, sufficient and safe for communities and the public. I, I think I didn't understand what civil engineering really meant before I took on this program or before I, I started this program. I had some idea that it had to do with cities and maybe it was city planning, but I didn't realize that it was construction, it was working potentially for local governments, that it was consulting maybe on a global scale. The math was just it was very exciting. It's easy to see how it actually matters. And then there was the application factor of you know, you're not just doing math to like add numbers together for no reason. There was a purpose and the purpose was to design a storm pond or calculate the grading of a subdivision. And that was really exciting because I knew where I could apply the math in my everyday life, but also in my career and job. I'll use a basic example for this, and that's just basic trigonometry. So like triangles, and let's talk about just finding, you have like a right angle and you wanna find the slope. Well, we have like hills and slopes all around us and you need to calculate the ditches that if a car's going to have an accident, you have a certain slope that you're allowed from regulations and knowing that will help you design better. So just calculating the basic grade, even with your storm water that you're designing, like in your sanitary pipes that run down roadways or subdivisions, they have to be a certain level of grade because if it's too fast, then it's gonna corrode the pipe. And you don't want that. If it's too slow, then it's just gonna sit there and be stagnant and you don't want wastewater just sitting there. So knowing your basic math when you're doing design really helps. What I really enjoy about it is being out there actually doing the surveying and then bringing it inside and seeing it all come together in AutoCAD where you can connect the dots so you can draw it and bring it into reality on a computer and other people can continue designing that same piece of land. You're in engineering and you're trying to protect the safety of others, which is really, really important. And you have to think about that all the time. Is what I'm designing going to be safe? And then also like how user-friendly is it? Every project's different. 
in Canada, you have to think about removing snow on a roadway or for buildings, you have to think of like snow and wind loads, like how is that going to withstand it? So if you have a flat roof, how much snow can ideally sit on that roof? It's really nice to see how everybody really just works together to reach a common goal. The program really prepared me for the workforce and industry by having lots of group projects because I never work on a project from start to finish on my own. There's things that I contribute to a project, but I always have to work with different team members, with environmental planners or permitting and utility coordinators, and you need to collaborate with them effectively. All the professors at Conestoga, they're very helpful and they take pride in the fact that when you leave here, you are going to be as professional as possible when you're coming out of school. The professors really focus on that and teach you how to present your ideas and your projects in a better way. It's just a really interesting industry because the skills that you learn are really transferable. So you, if you started out in transportation and doing like road design, you could easily move into something like wastewater because you would have worked on, you know, some sanitary and water calculations and those skills are transferable, but you can also take them somewhere else in the world because Everyone needs roads, everyone needs buildings, houses, like every country has this. So you don't have to just stay in one place and it, everything you're learning isn't just applicable to Kitchener, Waterloo or Southern Ontario. You can take it on a global level. And that was really fascinating because I don't think all jobs have skills that are that transferable. I think what I took away from it was like not just one thing, there was a few things. It was making like really good connections with my professors and mentors that I had during the program and then also classmates and keeping those friendships and you just run into each other all the time out in work. The effort you put into the program, people recognize that outside of it. Um, I think it also helped me with like my people skills or not to be so shy and timid. It's okay to voice your ideas because you might actually have something to bring to the table, even though you may not have that much experience. They're always looking, and I think in this ind industry, for innovation and creativity. I would say my time here at Conestoga has really helped me appreciate civil engineering as a whole. I can see it everywhere in my daily life. If I go for a walk through a subdivision, I can see a storm pond. I can see houses that I know someone spent time designing structurally and then someone grading the lot. And I, I know that at one point there was a big construction site going on and people were surveying and there was concrete getting poured. All the different steps, all the coordinating that had to go into it, the planning, the collaborating. And that makes me really happy because I know it was a group effort to create that and that potentially I was a part of it.